Hey you guys, today is day four of my 12 days of Christmas, which I have been doing on my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be doing a video every day for 12 days leading up to Christmas. I already have a few videos made if you guys wanna go ahead and check that out on my channel. But yeah, for today's makeup look, I decided to do an affordable holiday glam look. I was really excited to go and do this look for you guys. I have this look in mind and I honestly really love the way it turned out. This is definitely a look I think I'm gonna be wearing for Christmas Eve because I'm really obsessed with it right now. I absolutely love the way it looks. Now just to go ahead and stop my constant rambling. If you guys want to see how to get this affordable holiday glam look, then just keep on watching. Hey you guys, so I already have on some leftover concealer right now and I did my brows earlier as well from work earlier today and they're still going strong so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those. For my primer that I used earlier, it's the NYX Angel Veil Primer which you can get at pretty much any drugstore. And then for my concealer that I used on my face, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I am in the shade Light Ivory. and this is only $3 at the drugstore, so this is extremely affordable. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the RCMA No Color Powder. This is an extremely affordable powder. I think it's only like 12 bucks online, and it's really, really good, especially if you have drier skin. I know around this time, almost everyone is getting dry skin, so this powder really helps balance that out. As much as I can't stand the packaging, but you know, it's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and put my hair back now in my little headband thing. Oh, and then the brushes I'm using are also very affordable, you guys. I'm using Morphe brushes. Now for my eye stay, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. And I think the colors for this will be perfect for a few different holiday looks, honestly. Look how gorgeous. Taking a sip of my coffee because I know I'm going to need it. First, I'm going to go ahead and dip into this shade Silk Cream. And we're just going to be using this as our transition color. I'm going to take my Morphe E30 brush, completely dip into that shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and start putting this on the outer corner of my eye and then in my crease as well. This is just gonna act as our transition shade. I'm gonna also drag that color out just a little bit and then I'm really gonna blend this color out in my crease. Next, I'm gonna be dipping into the shade MFEO and with that exact same brush I was using before, we're just gonna do the exact same thing. Add this to the outer corner of my eye and then also in the crease. And again, we're just really gonna blend this color out. We're gonna be adding a lot of colors on top of each other and just kind of blowing them out. This is what I think just gives you the prettiest effect and the most seamless effect when you use a ton of different colors. I know a lot of other makeup artists kind of like disagree with that, but I don't know, honestly, this is just what I prefer and what I think definitely looks the prettiest. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the shade Butter, and then also that exact same brush we were using. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna just put that in the outer corner of our eye and then in our crease. Next, I'm gonna be dipping into that shade Pooter. <laughs> I love the name of this shade, and I'm going to be using a little bit more of a precise brush. I'm going to be using the M433 brush from Morphe, and again, I'm just going to be patting this on my outer corner, and then adding it a little bit lower in the crease than those other shades. With the darker shades, we don't want this to look like we have like a black eye effect going on, so whenever you use a darker shade, make it a little bit lower in the crease than your transition shade. And then you're just going to blend, 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 mainly in windshield wiper motions. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the shade Pukey and I'm gonna go back to using that Morphe E30 brush and I'm just gonna add this in my crease at the very top of that other shade we were using and this is really just gonna add such a pretty effect. It's just gonna blend everything together and make it look a lot more seamless. I want to add a little bit of color to this look so I'm gonna go ahead and add the shade Jax. Same way at the outer corner of my eye and then a little bit in the crease, again, lower than the other colors we put down. These shadows are so nice, you guys. There's like no fallout at all when you put them on the eye. It's so pretty. I'm so obsessed. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade Chip. And again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on my outer corner, lower than that other color we put down, and then just a tiny, tiny bit in the crease. And this is just gonna give us a lot more definition. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of a precise brush. I'm gonna be taking the Morphe E32 brush. I'm gonna dip into the shade Central Park and I'm gonna try to make like an eyeliner effect with this. 
And then I also decided to go ahead and do a little bit of a wing with this as well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of that Central Park color, just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that on my outer corner and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. All right, so I went ahead and popped on some false lashes here. They are the Siren Lashes from House of Lashes. Extremely affordable, just so you guys know. Go ahead and check them out. I'm also gonna have everything linked below if you guys wanna go ahead and find these products for yourself. And House of Lashes lashes are actually my favorite lashes, and they're the most inexpensive I have found online that are actually comfortable to wear so I highly recommend them. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the lower lash line and I think I'm only gonna use like three colors for this. I'm gonna take some more of Silk Cream on the Morphe E24 brush. It's just a normal pencil brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and buff this out on my lower lash line and then I want to try to make it so the bottom lash line connects to the top. Now I'm just gonna take a little bit of pooter. Again, really buff this out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit of chip and I'm really gonna try to make this connect to the top, up about to that wing. And I'm only gonna keep this on the outer corner of my eye just to make my eye look more awake. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take some mascara for my bottom lashes. I'm going to be using the telescopic mascara from L'Oreal. And it's also the same mascara I used on my top lashes before I put on my falsies, just so you guys know. I'm just gonna add some white eyeliner to my waterline as well. I really want to give this more doughy eyed effect. And when you put white eyeliner on your waterline, this really helps open up the eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the color Obsessed. I'm gonna put this on my finger because I feel like that's what gives this the most pigmentation. And I'm just gonna put this on the inner corners of my eye. And then I'm also going to drag this up to my lid a little bit. Oh, I love this color. I feel like it looks so festive and cute. I'm using this Morphe M421 brush, I believe. Yeah, M421. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Beam, and I'm going to use this shade as my brow bone highlight. And that's it for the eyes. Let's go ahead now and move on to the face. For my contour today, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna take my Morphe M523 brush and I'm gonna go ahead and start contouring my forehead and then my cheekbones. And the way that I contour, as I've said before, I start from the very top of the ear and then I work my way down the cheekbone, blending upwards. And then I'm really gonna bronze up the skin here. Contour my nose a little bit, and then my chin and my jawline as well. And then for my blush today, I'm so sorry guys, I know this isn't like a super affordable blush, but I cannot find my Morphe 9B palette anywhere, and I don't have any other super low price blushes, but this is a color that's actually in the palette that's super similar. This is the Wild Honey Becca blush. It's such a beautiful warm apricot color. I'm so obsessed with it, I've been using this nonstop. Again, so sorry, but I'll put in a link in the description for the 9B palette from Morphe if you guys want to check that out. That one's a lot more affordable and it's an entire palette of blushes. I'm going to use my Morphe E4 brush and I'm going to start putting this in the apples of my cheeks and then I'm also going to blend it into my contour. And I'm also going to put a little bit on my nose because I just like the way it looks. I think it's cute. <laughs> For my highlight today, I'm going to be mixing two. I'm going to be taking the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade, what are you? Oh, Precious Petals. I always forget what this one's called, but here it is right here. It looks so pretty. And then on top of Precious Petals, I'm going to be putting the NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder Highlight in the shade Snow Rose. This one is so freaking gorgeous. This is gonna look absolutely stunning on top of the cheekbones. I'm so excited to use it. I'm gonna take my more M510 brush just dip into that precious petals highlight from wet and wild and I'm gonna highlight my cheekbones and I like to do this in sort of like little circle motions here like you see because I feel like that gives us the prettiest effect oh my god that's so freaking glowy I love it a little bit on the nose as well and then my cupid's bow and then you guys could leave it as is but I want another highlight because I'm a little extra like that. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that snow rose color with the same brush. And I just wanna add this on top for a little bit more of a wintry look effect. A little bit more of a white highlight. Oh, these two mixed are so pretty, you guys. For my lip liner today, I'm gonna be using the NYX lip liner in the shade Auburn. It's this really pretty sort of reddish color. And I'm gonna overdraw my lips just a little bit. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and fill in my lips with this color as well. 
And then if you wanted to, you can actually leave this as it is. I think it actually looks really pretty as it is, but I really wanted to add it a super Christmassy red on top of this. So I'm going to be going in now with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Designer Blood. I know this one's not super drugstore affordable. However, right now, if you actually go on his website, you can get this shade for 50% off and then that makes it drugstore affordable. That, that should make it about $9, I believe. And this is the only super Christmassy red I own. Just because personally, I don't think reds look really good on me, but this one is super cute and I actually really like the way this looks on everybody. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add this color on over top. And that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Stay tuned for more of my 12 days of Christmas. There are gonna be a few really good ones going up that I'm pretty excited about. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be. I'll see you guys in my next video. And remember, stay word, my friends. Bye, you guys.